Hi my friends, let's model uh, the part number 38, flat stand, from my collection of uh, 100 parts. The picture of this object is presented here, some uh, uh, irregularities or regularities on a round uh, piece. Let's have a look at the drawing. As you can see, there's specific of this is uh, or are these two channels throughout the uh, part they can be uh, seen here yes they are all through the part as uh, rectangular holes not uh, round holes we start by creating this uh, uh, contour to be revolved and to obtain uh, the main part of the uh, object. Let's start the plane XY and dimensions or and shape are here. The height is 39 from bottom to top and then a contour look at it this one yes with all these dimensions here we'll use them to create the contour I start now in a particular way. I draw an axis or center line of 39 because this is the dimension. Okay and then we see something uh, to have uh, an idea about the dimension. And now we draw lines. The chamfer is not 45 degrees. These two lines, that one and this one, are not on the same, are not collinear. Yes. This is why I created a distance. Okay, close contour. Now dimensions. This is 200, yes, and then 11 this 104 85 and 84 this is what I told uh, these are not on the same not collinear and the other 50 uh, 30 degrees 3 millimeters here 23 25.5 and 30 and 72 84 let's use them to create the dimensioned part 200 everything is moved 85 84 
uh, I have to create coincidence between these two, yes, because this was not on the same vertical, and also between this. Good. 11 was this dimension. And now here. 50 72 23 23 oh 30 degrees here let's apply 30 degrees to fix the position and then we move this up or we place the dimension which is uh, 30 here and 25.5 25.5 the other dimensions which are missing are this diameter which is 104 and what one dimension needed which one is missing oh three this one is missing Okay, fully constrained. Finish sketch and now revolve. Okay, home F6. This is the main body. Now let's take a look at the other features. These two rectangular channels or holes. 14 between them. 16 is the width, 6 the height, 12 position, and 14 between them. Yes? We select this plane to be like in the picture, F7. Now we see inside a rectangle with uh, a distance of 12 from the bottom 12 a height of 6 a width of 16 and the distance between this and uh, the other is uh, 14. So I select them and I write here 14 divided by 2. Okay, fully constrained. Extrude. The contour is unique. So it was selected. And the hole is through the part. Yes. Okay, very interesting. And now mirror, of course. Mirror of this last feature. About the plane XY. Okay. Now, you see this... Uh, 
a feature with a hole through all and this cuts I'll make in the following way I create this I apply the hole I create this and then all three one two three I uh, make a circular pattern with them a four okay let's take a look to uh, dimensions first is this a channel of 16 which means double of the radius on a diameter of 160 and uh, this is on the horizontal good I take a look from the top this is the horizontal this means that this is the face we draw some lines here from the air okay trim same horizontal this two and an arc not necessary but is better to create this and now radius of 8 and diameter 160 divided by 2 because this is a radius finish sketch f6 extrude this cut through all okay now this is the face I start by drawing a line of uh, 130 divided by 2 and with an angle of 45 between these two 45 good this is the center of that uh, feature I draw a line an arc another line and I place the radius 14 and coincidence this point with this point this line to be construction line and parallel this with this yes now fully constrained finish sketch f6 extrude what is the height the height is 35 from the bottom yes we start now from here that we have to subtract 11 35 minus 11 extrude this you see I didn't draw any um, arc here and it works Thirty-five minus eleven. Okay, hole. What is uh, diameter? Diameter is twelve. Through this face, 
this concentricity and 12 is already placed okay the last thing we do is this select this select this select this in a circular pattern dialog box and then the axis then the axis four not six okay and we have the part <laughs> good this is the part we select a material steel carbon we select a general aspect steel cast and we select some faces to make them machined uh, polished the part data are here 3.2 kilograms that's all for today bye bye